Yeah, morning, everyone. Um, so I've made, uh, made this budget uh, spreadsheet. Uh, it, it may look a bit overwhelming or uh, hard to use, but um, I'll tell you, I'll show you an example of how to use it. So just change the names to your group members over here. Put down your um, um, dollar values, how much you've got. So I'm just going to make this up. 25,000, say 40, and another 20. So this will automatically add up the total funds available for the group. Now, I'm only going to explain this one colored block. Uh, there's seven of them here. Seven because we're traveling to seven different countries. So um, that's trip one. Auckland to where? So the, where the question mark is, put down where you're going. Um, I'd say, um, say, Auckland to Brisbane, the flights per, per, per person. There's two columns here. And this has come around because there were questions uh, from um, students the uh, day before yesterday, or was it yesterday? And they were saying, well, what's the point of converting if the flights are already in New Zealand dollars? So let's just say the flights per person is 400 New Zealand dollars. So I'm going to put um, all the New Zealand dollar values in this column. And if something is in Australian dollars, I'll put it in the second column. So I don't need to put anything here. So let's say accommodation per day was 150 Australian dollars. Now this is um, designed in such a way it's always per person. So that's 150 um, Australian dollars, of course. Um, what I'm going to do is just put... Um, um, number i could change the dollar sign and i'll show you how to change it to dollar sign okay don't worry about that there we go so it's got a dollar sign on it the reason it's a dollar sign is because the currency in australia is in dollars if the current if i was going to great britain i'll put pounds but if you're not sure don't worry about it you don't need to put anything um i'll change the spreadsheet to just not having any numbers any um currency symbols in there right now um visas if any sightseeing i'm, I'm just going to randomly fill some stuff up um souvenirs transport food whatever so this column would out automatically add up for you the total new zealand dollar value and that'll be the australian dollar value uh, the total expenses in new zealand dollars per column see this funny hash division by zero that's because i haven't put anything here so to do this please pay utmost attention go to this website i use this always change new zealand dollars to the um, country you're traveling to so one New Zealand dollar to Australian dollar conversion. Um, so today, one New Zealand dollar is valued at 0 0.9156, so almost 90 cents in Australia. So I'm going to copy that, Control C. I'm going to enter that here, Control V. Make, don't just click and go Control V. Uh, don't do that, please. Make sure you double click and go inside the cell so the cursor is blinking, so to speak. And there we have it. So what it does is um, adds all of this, divides by that. Uh, I've also put a thing here, put exchange rate, and converts it to New Zealand dollars. Okay. And now finally, this will be the total per four people. Um, so total expenses in New Zealand dollars to blah, blah, blah per person is that much. That's the total expenses. This I'm sure I can convert to New Zealand dollars. Of course, it is in New Zealand dollars. I'll do that um, now for you. Oh, look, that's done. So for trip one, I know there's a lot of expenses I'm missing. I don't want to make this video too long. So that this spreadsheet will do everything for you. And you're going to go trip two. So you're going to write down Brisbane to, I don't know, Jamaica, wherever. Do the same thing again. Are you doing in New Zealand dollars or whatever? Blah, blah. Keep going. And all these things will keep adding up, adding up whatsoever. Um, that's trip five, trip six, trip seven. Now, this will be the total expenses in New Zealand dollars. It'll, um, it'll automatically change when all these numbers change here for you. Okay. Um, what you need to do is I've also put a column here for general expenses. I think um, someone said, hey, look, I'm just getting a travel insurance one off um, from Southern Cross or whatever. Uh, and it's already in New Zealand dollars. So just put it here. And if you want to add more columns, you can go right click or rather rows, insert row, um, insert one below. And you can keep adding it here. So what happens now is this tab will add all your general expenses. And finally this, and that will be added together and giving you the total amount spent. Uh, the total amount left will be your funds, subtract the total amount left, okay? Which will automatically appear in this um, cell. 
Now, I've programmed this in such a way that if you have 5% or more left, uh, this thing will go red in color. Uh, red meaning, look, you really need to spend less, uh, more. If it's less than 5%, like 4.9, 4.8, 2.1, that means you've done enough spending, it goes green in color. Okay, I, I really hope this helps. I'm gonna explain more um, in, um, in our lesson. Um, see you then.